Now let's go in here and, uh, as Cat said, Robin is big fat news. Alright, here we are then, Dr. Holmes' laboratory is just up ahead. Oh look, miss, there he is, Inspector Hastings. Not you two again. I've just had about enough of your sauce, alright? You're not coming here and that's final. Actually, it's not. We have permission to investigate the laboratory now. In fact, we have permission to do whatever you deem necessary for our inquiries. Come on, do you think I was born yesterday? And you gave you permission, eh? Because it certainly wasn't me. Dean Delmona authorized it personally. Eh? The Dean? Presumably you're not going to flout this or his authority. I... I don't... Dean Delmona said it was alright. Disc. Go on then, in you go. Thank you, Inspector. Come along, Ernest. Um, yes, do, do excuse us, Inspector. I don't know what the Dean's plan of letting you clowns investigate this. This is highly irregular. Even Inspector Hades was powerless to stop us when we had Dean Delmona's permission. I waited with bated breath to see what miraculous deductions Miss Layton would be able to make at the scene of the crime. This is it, miss. The research laboratory of the highly regarded Dr. Gene Ohm. Isn't it exciting? Oh, I finally got it! His name's upon the word genome, isn't it? Ah! Boy, I'm dumb for not getting that sooner. Jesus Christ! Correct! So, this is where the incident took place, and you got in here through that window over there, was it? That's right. That's the one I was peering through when I slipped and fell inside. With a oops a daisy, did I mention that? You did. And that's presumed Dr. Rome over there. According to Inspector Hastings, he accused you, he accused you of the crime. Gosh, I had lies on the man, but he thinks I'm a criminal. Well, I think we should start by interviewing him. Oh my god, he's um That was not the worst design I've seen in the series for, so far. Excuse me, Dr. Ohm. Mm hmm? Who are you? I'm Katria Layton. Dean Delmona has given me permission to investigate the theft of your research papers. Ah, it's a disgrace, I tell you, and... Wait, you're the young chap who took them! No, I assure you, Professor. I've been wrongly accused. I didn't do it. What are you even doing here? Didn't they take you back to Scotland Yard? They did. But they had to let me go because they didn't have enough evidence to hold me. Clearly, Ernest here was acting suspiciously, suspiciously and did enter the laboratory through a window. But it's not the culprit. I intend to clear Ernest's name by finding the true thief and bringing him or her to justice. We will need to make a thorough search of the laboratory in, in order to gather supporting evidence. Hmm. I don't know what you think you'll be able to find, but if it's Dean's giving you his permission, I can't stop you. Be my guest. Just don't upset any of my experiments. Thank you. We'll try not to take too much of your time. Okay, so there are three things here, but first... Apparently this is one of them, maybe. Dr. Holmes X is enviably tidy, isn't it? A far cry from a certain other Gresson Hell Professor, that's for sure. A certain other? Sorry? Never mind. It's just that you generally think of academics as being too engrossed in their work to care about keeping their things in order. Excuse me, I don't know what your other academics you know, but I'll thank you not to tire me with the same brush. Oh, sorry. I didn't think you could hear me. I'm clean and tidy by nature. I can't relax unless I have everything in order. It's really very simple. You put things away after you finish using them. And you put rubbish in the bin. When you finish with the documents, you dispose them promptly. You can't write a coherent paper about anything if you're surrounded by a mess. That's what I believe, anyway. And that's why I always keep things neat and tidy. I see, so that's how the great professor works. Fascinating. Okay, I thought it was gonna be a clue. Uh, yeah, I thought it was gonna be one of these boxes at least. Okay, this is the window. 
Oh look, there's a fine view of the rose bed out of the window. Ah, you've noticed the roses, have you? I'll say they're simply spiffing. Aren't they? I have to stop and gaze out of the window at them. Who tells you the flowers, Dr. Ohm? I don't really know, to be honest. I hear some of the students manage the, gar the garden around here. Gosh, that's very impressive. Flowers like that would take an awful lot of looking after. Yes, I should be thankful to the students, I suppose. Whenever I get a little fed up with my progress, I find these beautiful roses often cheer me up. So the view from your window helps when you're writing papers, you mean? Hmm, the view from the window. Okay, so there's a little swirling, uh, circling butt is the last clue, okay. Yes, I'm good at finding the plot clues, but where the heck are the, the coins? Oh. Vicious Veg. Okay. Wait, maybe here? Yeah, thank you, finally. Not quite what I was going for, but hey, that works too. And there's a puzzle. This is Dr. Ohm's research equipment. I'm sure it's, it's the very best. Probably rather expensive. Do you suppose he ever drops in when he's conducting experiments? Chemical and things, I mean. Oh yes, I'm afraid that does happen. Like this. Precious medicine. A valuable bottle of medicine has spilled out of the boy's hands. Try to limit the damage by placing one piece of wood, of wood so that as little medicine spills on the floor as possible. When the best place to position the where's the best place to position the wood, press and hold it to move it and L and R to rotate it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can I... like this, maybe? Oh, okay, so I only have one piece of wood. Okay, okay, okay. I have a feeling there's a better way to do this than this, because it's not going to be this straightforward, this puzzle. Give me a second to figure it out, guys. Eventually. Okay, what if instead of that... I use it to block the entrance of the of the what's the name of, of the bottle. Would that work? Because again, a lot of these puzzles seem to be. I want to know. Yeah, they are nonsensical sometimes because you need so they come along. That's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. Nice. You did it if the bottle was sealed shut at the start, then no medicine would spill. It's important to watch where you're going when you're carrying things. Gosh, I'm glad I managed to stop that substance from going all over the floor, whatever it was. Ah, uh, I hope we can hope work with Dr. Ohm one day. Prove him to the suit his research data will be rather pivotal in releasing that wish, I think. Realizing. Yes, of course. I think that's all there is here. So let's talk to Doc. Wait. Oh yeah, that's the one we talked about. Yeah. So I need to do talk to you now. Doctor Ohm, would you mind if I ask you one of two, one or two questions? If you must, I'm a very busy man, you know. Yes, tell me. Why is it you accuse Ernest of, of stealing your papers? For crying out loud, he was climbing through the window. You didn't need to be Einstein to figure it out. I'm sorry, Dr. Ohm, you are mistaken. That's right, miss. You said him straight. Ernest has admitted... Uh, yeah. Ernest has admitted entering the room through the window, but he didn't climb in. He fell in with a noopsy daisy. Um, I, I don't think that's really relevant here, miss. Oh really? But you can mention but you can't mention it. 
Look, I was in here just before you snuck through the window, and all my papers were accounted for then. I had an appointment, so I'd left the laboratory, but I made sure to lock the door on my way out. Then, just after we broke in, one of my students came in and let himself in here with a spare key. He saw you in here, for goodness sake. And when I got back, the papers I left on my desk were all, were all gone. So is it also a possibility that a student who opened the door, the one who, you know, did the case? <coughs> Sorry. They can't just have disappeared into thin air, can they? Who else can be responsible but you? I... I don't know, but... Just a moment, Dr. Holm. You said that you locked the door when you left the room, didn't you? What about a window? Didn't you lock that? Oh, I remember now! I guess saw Dr. Holm open the window while I was standing and my, and my under rose outside. The same window that cat jumped in through, I mean. Hmm, I, I don't remember. I intend to lock the window too, but... But the point is, you don't expect people to sneak in through windows. The fact that you did that proves you were up to no good. Dr. Holm, I wish you'd believe me. I don't think really there is anything you could say to him at the moment that would change his mind, Ernest. We always have to find the irrevocable proof. You know, I'm starting to see the one who did it was Dr. Holm. I'm gonna say it now. Yes, I suppose so. Well now, well now, oh, sorry, well, now that I've had a look around the laboratory for myself, oh, have you managed to find the evidence we need, miss? I find that your actions are more and more suspicious, Ernest. Oh no. Not really, I was just pulling your leg. Gosh, I nearly fainted. Still, I can't find anything that really proves your innocence. For the time being, you still, you are still to be considered a sp suspect, I'm afraid. We need to find something that points to the true culprit. Just something. Hmm? This is a real problem, this is. Dr. Ohm, what's wrong? I've been trying to carry on with this paper despite my important documents having been stolen. But without, without them to refer to, I'm lost. I can't make head or ta nor tail of what's written here. Oh dear, um, would you like me to have a look, Professor? You? But you're the thief! Well, why not? The way things are at the moment, it couldn't get any worse. Thank you! This is what's giving me the trouble, you see. Oh, it became a puzzle all of a sudden! <laughs> to the letter! The letter on the symbols have been transformed... Oh, oh sorry. The letters on the left have been transformed into symbols on the right. Using the same rule, what symbol would the bottom letter turn into? Choose from the four possible options. Okay, I know it's not gonna be one or three, because they're you no know, A and W, so at least four and two. I'm gonna go with two first. No, it's gonna be four. So, in conclusion. Still no patch on this Leighton, of course. Hey, I got it right. Nice. You did it. The symbols on the right are created by cutting the letters on the left in half vertically and swapping and swapping over the right and left sides. Overlapping them is a key. Not what I was gonna go for, but hey, sure, I'm okay with that. Aha, yes! Yes, that makes sense now! Why did you say your name was again? Horace Grieve, was it? Wasn't it? Very impressive! If you weren't a thief, you'd have a promising future ahead of you. I do wish you'd believe me, Professor. I really didn't steal anything. It doesn't make any difference who did it now. Tomorrow's the deadline for the paper submission anyway. Tomorrow? Oh god, that is a pickle. You're telling me? I was due to finish off today, but, the, but that was before my documents were pinched. It's no use. Without that data, I can't write another word. Uh, the whole world is watching and waiting to see what I publish next. But I'm not going to be able to satisfy their thirst for knowledge this time. Oh dear, what a mess. 
It's beyond my control though. Now that my documents are gone, blame the scoundrel that stole them. Hmm. You owe me the submissions deadline. Yes, it's beyond your control. Are you alright, miss? I wonder. I think I might know why the documents went missing. Miss Layton was, was still deep in thought, but I could see the truth of the case was bubbling up inside her. Yeah, I think it was the professor, Dr. Genome. Act of Providence. I've got it! I know exactly what happened! Really? You... You mean you can prove that I didn't do it? Yes, Ernest, you're off the hook. This mystery is history! So who did... Who, so who did take the professor's documents then? I'll explain everything later. First, I want you to go and fetch Inspector Hastings. What? Me? Yes, you. Who else could go? Run along now, Ernest. Chop chop! Oh, um, yes! We can put the puzzle of your missing documents to bed now. That mystery is history. Really? They are there! Uh, hey? What? But... I don't... What? The roses. What on earth does this business have to do with that bed of roses? That's the result of your research. What are you talking about? I research genetically engineered plants. Those are just ordinary run-of-the-mill flowers of the genus Rosa. What possible connection could they have to my work? You hit a brick wall with your research. With the presentation of your paper fast approaching, you needed to buy yourself some time. So you arranged for your documents to be stolen. Who planted that idea in your head? Of course, it left you with the problem of disposing of reams and reams of paper. And then you realised you could feed it to the goats the university keeps. Whose droppings are used as manure for those roses. You're kidding! So those roses are the fruits of your labour. Called it! Haven't they bloomed beautifully? You must be delighted. And I can call this right this time. I'm actually doing with some... Oh, no, wait. I kind of also have called it right with Ratman. But yeah, I think those are the only two times I was actually kind of right about all this. Ugh. In other words, Ernest here is innocent. So, Ernest, I'll leave you to take it from here. Miss Layton, you are magnificent. You know, I'm pretty sure he could have made his 3D model blush at, his, at least for this scene. Because it's very obvious he's crushing her hard. It's over. All that research and for what? I've absolutely nothing to show for any of it. It doesn't have to be over, Professor. Why don't you start again? I'd gladly help you. Ernest, you... You mean you can forgive me? After everything I've done? I've watched you conducting your research for a long time now. I know better than anyone what an exceptional man you are. I'm quite sure you'll succeed given enough time. So let's start again. Working together. Well, Ernest... You're exceptional yourself. Thank you. It's Miss Layton we should be thanking. Both of us. I must think of some way to repay her. And that was the moment I realized. I realized what a deep respect I had for Miss Layton. 
what complete faith I had in her abilities. Where is this one? Where is this box on voice? What the hell? And how I truly felt about her. Okay, sure. 